Hey folks, I'm back with another mini album. Um, I've been asked if I could show how to make this little wallet mini album, so that's what I'm going to try to do. With this one, you're gonna need, for the base, you're gonna need two eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock. We're gonna cut the first piece at six That's six inches by 11. This page should be 11, but most of the time they are not exactly 11. So I cut it. So that's six by 11. Then you're gonna take your next piece and you're gonna cut two strips at three and seven eighths. So there's one at three and seven eighths. There's another one at three and seven eighths by nine and a half. So three and seven eighths by nine and a half. Nine and a half. Three and seven eighths by nine and a half. Okay. You're going to score your base page at three and three quarter, four, eight, eight and a quarter. So three and three quarter, four, eight, eight and a quarter. And then for your accordion fold outs, you're gonna score each of them at three, six, and, hmm, and crud, and nine. Three, six, and nine. Okay. Then you're gonna take your base page and you're going to fold on your score lines. Fold on your score lines. Burnish them down. Fold on your score line. Burnish it down. Fold on your score line. Last score line. Burnish it down. And I like to take my corner rounder and just round the corners. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Then you're going to take your other pieces and you're going to accordion fold. Then you're going to fold up. Then you're going to fold back. And then you're going to flip it and fold back again and try to make them as straight as possible. Okay, and you're going to take your next one. You're going to fold back. You're going to flip it and fold. Again. And then you're going to fold it back. And it looks, it's an accordion, okay? You're gonna take score tape or your double-sided tape. And you're going to do that on both pieces on both of the little flaps. I'm going to take and push it down. Okay, 
you're going to bring your base back and you're going to put one on this side and one on this side. Okay, so you're going to take backing off if I can. And just make sure that it opens this way okay you're gonna take it and you're gonna line it up right here on this side in between your two score lines okay and you're gonna stick it down and take this and burnish it you're gonna flip it around and do the same see how that opens that way we want this to open the opposite way it and in between your score lines I'm gonna take it and stick it down okay then you have something that looks like this okay then you're gonna do we're gonna cover it you got to pick out which you want to be inside for these and which you want to be your outside, okay? So my inside, I want these to be the flaps. So we'll set those aside. And then for my outside, I think I'm gonna do this for the outside. So you gotta, you're gonna have to cut one, two, three pieces, okay? So for this piece right here, you're going to cut it at five and three quarter. Oh, that cat. Five and three quarter, okay. And then by three and a half. Three and a half, okay. And I write on that outside bottom okay set that aside and this is already at five and three quarter we're gonna do the top piece five and three quarter by two and a half okay five and three quarter by two and a half and that's gonna be outside top Okay, then you're gonna need one for the for the back, which is gonna be five and three quarter. They're all gonna be five and three quarter width, five and three quarter, and then for the back, it's going to be a three and three quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna write outside outside back okay and you're going to take this for the inside and you're going to do the same thing again you're going to do five and three quarter five and three quarter by three and a half And that's going to be inside bottom okay and then two and a half that's going to be the inside top okay and then with this one you're going to do five and three quarter by three and three quarter and 
And this is gonna be inside middle. Okay, so we have all those pieces. And then these are going to be, you're gonna cut 12 of these and they're going to be two and three quarter by three and three quarter. So we're gonna do three and three quarter, three and three quarter, okay? And we're gonna turn it and we're gonna do two and three quarter one time. Two times. Three times. Then we're going to do the same thing on this one. Two and three quarter. One. Two. Three. You're gonna take this page and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do three and three quarter, three and three quarter, three and three quarter. And you're gonna turn it around and do two and three quarter, two and three quarter, two and three quarter. Two and three quarter. Okay. Two and three quarter. Two and three quarter. And two and three quarter. Okay. There's all your pieces. We're done with the cutting. Okay. Now bring your base back over and we're gonna pick out our pieces that we did. We've got inside, 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 and then we got the outsides, okay? So we're gonna do the inside first. Now, if you round your corners, you need to round your corners on these as well. Make sure you round them on the right side, okay? So that's gonna be there. Then we got the inside, and then we're gonna, the inside middle, which you will not round, and then the inside top. Okay, so you have to make sure you round, and I do it first so that I, so that I know. Then we're just going to add some tape. And then stick it down. Ooh. Try to get it straight. Okay. And open it up. We'll do the middle. That is not straight. Dig it down. Then we're going to do the top. And I flip it around because it's easier for me. And dig it down. Okay. Now. If you have a directional pattern, you need to be aware of where your um, corner round because you don't want it to be, that's the back, you don't want it to be um, upside down when you flip it up. Okay, so we have that. And then the outside top, we have around these. 
Okay. And then when you do that, you can go ahead and flip it over and it's easier, it's easier to stick down that way if it's flipped over. For me, anyway. You do it however you want to do it. That's what's great about crafting. You can do your own thing. Okay, stick it down. Fixing to have to change my tape. it down okay so now you have that okay now oops, hold up like you're supposed to now with these I always alternate you don't have to but I do so like for this one stand down. like for this one I'm gonna put a star on this side this side okay. and I'm going to open it up I'm going to put a stripe right here and then a star Flip it out this way. And we'll do a stripe. And then a star. Let's see if I can get one more for I change this tape then. one at least all right so we have that if you haven't changed one of these then this is how you do it you take all this gink out throw it to the side Put this back in here. Okay. Then you're going to go, hold your trigger, you're going to go down and over. There's instructions on here, but you know, just in case you wanted to know. Then you're going to wrap around like a soul. And you're going to twist it. And you're going to put this thing back on there. In the right spot, perhaps. And twist it. And take a scrap piece of paper. And see if it works. And voila, it worked the first time. Hmm. 
That never happens. Okay, so we're gonna start with a stripe on this side. Stripe on this side. Okay, and we're gonna open it up. I'm going to flip it out. You have tape on there. All you have to do is like rub it with your hand. It's really good. It's easy. This tape's easy to remove. Or you can get one of those um, scrubby little tape remover things that I can't find. But your finger works fine. This is the last piece. Fold it back up. Fold it. What is wrong with you? Why are you sticking? You fold it up and you have a nice little wallet mini that you can put pictures in and send to grandma. So. Cute, right? Hopefully I didn't do that too fast, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Anyway, okay. Go make you one of those and Show me what you do. Have a great day, folks.